Hi everyone, my name is Richard Evans. I'm with Caliber Yacht Sales and today I'm going to welcome you aboard this stunning 2000 Carver 504. This boat is in absolutely mint condition with a lot of upgrades that, uh, well, you know what, I could talk about them here, but come on aboard, you're going to see for yourself. So great access into the cockpit here through this transom door. And as you can see, the cockpit is a really, really good size. You could put a couple of uh, deck chairs and a small teak table out here to enjoy the vista as you're sitting here having a glass of wine. Some of the extras that we have here is a, a box for storing lines and fenders. And not that you really need it because there's loads and loads of storage in the lazarette down below here. Uh, right here, uh, we have uh, the shore power input into the boat. It's nicely hidden away. Uh, lots of house holes here and oversized cleats uh, to secure your boat. Stainless steel handrail that surrounds the cockpit. This is nice. Look at this. We have not a ladder, but nice gradual stairs going up into the aft deck here. Just to the left of the, uh, of the stairs, we've got uh, cockpit washdown, both fresh water and salt water. So you can, uh, you can use both, uh, especially for cleaning your fish. Off the uh, swim grid here, notice this uh, davit system, which carries your dinghy in a horizontal position. Uh, have a look at this davit system. Isn't that a beauty? Very, very solidly built. Uh, easy to deploy your dinghy, easy to retrieve it. Uh, notice that the dinghy also has this wonderful sidestep for easy boarding and much safer and much more comfortable getting on board. And just on the inside of this, uh, notice that uh, the uh, dinghy has its own fiberglass gas tank with a gas fill right here. Very convenient. You don't have to mess with portable gas tanks. And look at this Nuverania package. It's gorgeous. The, uh, it's got a 50 horsepower Yamaha outboard on board center cockpit which is uh, very nice uh, you could have a lot of fun in this you could even go water skiing behind this baby so come on up into the aft deck and let's have a look up there wow just look at this space eh didn't i tell you this is perfect for the pacific northwest when we get rain you're fully protected here by this rigid hardtop these windows that are open that are also screened Notice also that uh, each of these doors, you have three points of access into the aft deck here. Uh, you got uh, doors on both side decks, as well as a door to the stairs down to the cockpit. Right here for your entertaining, because this is a great place to entertain, just look at the seating that we have here. Isn't this gorgeous? And it's so perfectly suited for the space. Nice brown natural color, wicker furniture, wicker and glass for the table and uh, nice comfortable chairs to sit in with a double chair here and another chair over there and all on top of this beautiful broadloom here that just look at the condition of this broadloom it's in great shape as a matter of fact uh, someone told me just recently that they thought this was a new boat right here we have a wet bar with a great big surface here lots of storage below of course we have running water here and storage in here as well and this is a kind of a nice surprise right here we've got this space goes all the way in that goes in about two feet so you can store all kinds of things in there uh, you can store snacks uh, or bottles or whatever you choose of course this is the uh, entrance into the salon and up here is the bridge so wow look at this space eh? isn't this great this is the bridge Big comfortable space, again rigid hard top, it's not a canvas top and you've got these glass windows all the way around. But you also have these opening windows here that uh, open out uh, forward so that it actually scoops air into here. Very, very nice. Notice the hatches above uh, the helm seat here. And uh, a nice comfortable guest uh, settee here for three people. Uh, big big space, big windows, uh, so there's lots and lots of visibility here, and it's just, wow. You know, rain or shine, a wonderful space to be in. Isn't that great? Now back here, you've got your helm station. 
uh, easy to access. You've got room for uh, four people very comfortably here. Uh, the uh, actual helm seat is fully adjustable, slides forward and back. Um, and here at the helm, a very clean layout, well designed, well configured. Of course, you've got your GPS chart plotter here. It's a Raymarine 120. Uh, you've got your Raymarine um, autopilot right here. Everything is so handy. You've got your throttle controls here. Analog gauges, which I really like. I think uh, for a quick uh, view of what's going on with your engines, uh, this, uh, this works best for me. Some people like digital, but I like this here. Uh, all of your switches, access switches are here, and your gearbox controls here. Uh, notice this, not only a bow thruster, but a stern thruster as well. And these are, these are uh, uh, not small thrusters. The boat responds very, very well when activating these toggle switches. You've got your tri-data here showing your speed through the water as well as uh, your uh, sea temperature and uh, depth underneath the keel. Very nice and close quarters. We have a rear view mirror here, but you don't really need it. Um, you also have a backup camera mounted in the cockpit as well, and I don't know if you saw that when we were coming in, but very, very convenient, and of course that displays right here in any configuration that you want. You can quarter the screen and put it up in the one of the corners, uh, have depth on the other side, totally up to you. Nice, eh? So moving down into the salon, the first thing you're going to see is this huge, huge space. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. I'm 6'2", and I've got a good five inches above me here. And look at the size of these windows. Isn't that gorgeous? What a beautiful day as well. And they're Hunter Douglas blinds, dual action blinds. So you can get a translucent blind just for privacy, but still let the sunlight in. Or you can get total blackout, like so. Isn't that nice? Notice here, too, that how the material on the valance matches the material on the chairs, just tying it all together. The beautiful dining room suite. A nice setting for four. A nice glass and stainless steel table. And then behind me here, we've got our home entertainment system, complete with a counter and some storage in behind. And for the home entertainment system, look at this. Look at this ultra suede couch, actually ultra leather couch. But something special about these couches is this beautiful reclining action. So relaxing. Just sitting here and just looking out the window and gentle rocking of the boat. This is a, this is a very, very comfortable feeling. Moving aft, we have our galley. What's nice about the galley, of course, is that it's a galley up. So whoever's working in the galley here can still interface with their guests and their family here at the table or down here at the settee. Some of the features of this is a dishwasher. Isn't that nice? Plenty of storage. Storage up. Storage below, bank of four drawers right here, pot and pan drawer there, and another patent pot and pan drawer underneath the stove. Now notice the stove, so efficient. With this counter that drops down over top of the burners when you're not using the stove, and it gives you this extra counter space. So counter space here, counter space here, and here. Even the sinks have this insert that goes in over top to increase your counter space. And of course, below the sink is that you've got double sinks, one for washing, one for rinsing. Up here, we've got a huge microwave oven. It's a microwave convection oven, actually. And down below is a freezer. Up above is this huge fridge. Now that's it for the galley. Come on forward to the VIP cabin.
All right, so here on the port side, we've got this great nook, and you could use it as a makeup space. Uh, down below, we've got tons of storage and more storage above. We've got uh, just forward of that, we've got a, this beautiful cedar lined hang up locker, and on the other side, another hang up locker as well. Uh, end tables on both sides. On both sides, we've got shelves for books, and notice the opening port lights with the full blackout blinds in front of them. Reading lamps on both sides of the bed. Uh, down below here, we've got uh, the mattress uh, mounted on shocks, and notice how those lights come on when you lift the mattress. Look at all the storage in there, tons and tons of storage. You could keep extra bedding in there, or as you can see, he's got numerous spare, spare parts that are included with the boat. Underneath, you've got three drawers, and uh, plant those drawers go very, very deep, so plenty of storage there as well. Master cabin has an ensuite, and the ensuite, of course, has a separate shower. Um, beautiful solid surface with uh, nice chrome taps and a medicine cabinet that is uh, very deep, so you can store lots of stuff up there. Just a beautiful, beautiful area. Electric toilet and private access into the VIP cabin, or when you're using it as a day head. Uh, you can access it through here as well. So certainly last but not least is the master cabin. Just have a look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful space. Come on down. So here we are in the master cabin and just look at this space. Look at the amount of sunlight that comes through these windows here. Just massive windows and the ensuite that's uh, backlit here. And notice here in the master cabin just how huge this space is. And the reason for that is it goes the full beam of the boat. So the first thing you're going to notice here is this uh, queen walk-around bed. And it's a full walk-around, no climbing over each other to try to get out of bed. Bedside tables on each side. Notice that the headboard is fully mirrored, gives it even a bigger space. And of course that mirror reflects the beautiful view that you would have coming through that sliding glass door. Above the bed you've got tons of storage here. It uh, goes well back and uh, that space is mirrored as well. Um, we have lockers here and hang up locker here. Large one, look at this. I mean, this goes floor to ceiling and is seat aligned as well. And I don't know if you notice that, but it is also backlit. Here you have space for a TV if you choose to have one. The current owners uh, don't. Uh, watch TV when they're out that much so there is no TV there right now but certainly lots of space for it and down below uh, more storage this is nice on this side here you've got uh, two opening port lights trimmed in stainless steel and then you've got these Hunter Douglas blinds to block it out here and also give you full privacy and uh, block out the sun as well, if you choose. Very nice, nice balance above. And look at this wood, isn't that gorgeous? They've, done, they've taken such great care of this boat. The boat looks new, doesn't it? So over here, you've got a, a little settee. You can sit here, there's storage down below. You can sit here, one in bed having coffee, another sitting here having coffee and just chatting. What a great environment for that, eh? Isn't that nice? Now, and you just want to step out of uh, your bedroom here into this cockpit and just greet the new day. So once you've greeted the day, you can step back into your cabin and just enjoy this space. You know, this is an all seasons boat. As you can see here, it, uh, it features air conditioning and reverse heating uh, or reverse air for heat. Very, very comfortable boat uh, to extend into fall winter boating if you like. And as you can see, you've got all of the protection that you really need uh, with that fully enclosed aft deck. Just beautiful. And this is just a great ensuite. Uh, I really like the configuration. You've got your sink in the middle uh, with a full mirror, and you've got storage below the sink. Right here, you've got your shower, a full standalone. Uh, shower and on the other side uh, the separate alcove for your toilet 
Uh, that's a really, really good uh, layout. I like that a lot. And of course, that this whole area just closes right up here. So when you're not using it, you can just uh, close the door up like so. And like so. And then it's totally out of the way. Isn't that nice? This is just an amazing boat, isn't it? I think it's one that any owner would be very proud of. So there you go, folks. Just a beautiful boat, isn't it? And this boat can be yours. All you have to do is just call the number on the screen and we'll arrange a private viewing just for you. And you'll be very glad that you did.